All right, this is Vega, and for those who are curious about what happens to the GPUs when you hit a VRAM limit, uh, we'll be showing you that on BF3. And uh, this is my uh, three times FW900 CRT setup. The Fresnel lenses are removed, so you guys can get a better, a clear picture of the uh, image without uh, too much complications there. Um, sorry about the uh, flickering of the screens, the natural phenomenon of the CRTs uh, when being video recorded uh, at a different rate. Uh, nothing I can do about it, but uh, it's worth it if you uh, stick through. Zoom it into the uh, NVIDIA control panel uh, running, like we said, the 3W uh, FW900 CRTs in quad GTX 680 or 4-way SLI. And heading down to system information using driver... 301.10 and a quick overview of the 3D settings I'm running it and up to the CPU Z currently only at uh, 5 gigahertz on the 3960X I haven't had time to uh, play around with it too much but uh, that shouldn't bottleneck uh, anything really EVG precision running the GTX 680's plus 132 power Offset plus 80 and 400 as a quick uh, overclock. I have not had time to tweak that. And here we can see GPU Z. Um, the number one card or the top card is running at PCI Express 2.0 16 times. And then the last three cards are at eight times. So we'll go ahead and get uh, Battlefield 3 launched here. Be using the campaign mode just because you can get to the same point in uh, in space with the exact same settings to uh, compare during benchmarking versus multiplayer. It's much harder to compare uh, results since there's so many variables going on. And game is logging in. Peace. All right, so up top we've got EVGA Precision running. And you can see since the game is being uh, capped right now for the menu, the GPU frequencies are kind of all over the place. So what we're going to do is show you the Battlefield 3 settings at the moment. All right, running 4320 by 2304 at 80 hertz. V-Sync is off. And uh, texture quality ultra, shadows ultra, effects low, mesh ultra, terrain ultra, decoration low, who wants some extra junk on the screen, antalyzing deferred is off, but post is high, motion blur is off, AF is 16 times, and ambient occlusion is off. We'll go back or load up the uh, campaign here. You can see that the uh, GPUs are throttled down at the moment as the game loads. Alright, this particular scene, uh, some people probably recognize, it's one of the, uh, only about 5 to 10 minutes in the game, but it dumps you out at a nice, a nice outdoor area for comparing FPS. <clears throat> Copy that. Yo, does anyone else really not get what the fuck we're doing here? Quit being a fucking hippie, Montez. I'm just saying, bro, this is about the PLR, we should just be in Iran, not Iraq. They're crossing borders, dog. PLR's the right people, alright? They don't make them any righter. <sighs> Copy out. What the <laughs> fuck are we stopping here for? Our objective's 20 clicks north of here. I don't know, Montes. Yeah, let's get out of the room. All right, so we're going to take a look at the uh, EVGA precision up here up top. I guess we're late to the party. It looks like the frequencies are uh, kind of all over the place, as expected with these GTX 680s and NVIDIA's uh, crazy turbo boost. 
All right, so as the scene settled down here, we'll go ahead and zoom out. So we just got out of the APC, and this is a nice uh, outdoor area. We'll zoom back in. You can see uh, the GPU utilization is pretty low. It's just barely uh, above halfway on all the GPUs because of that uh, PCI Express 2.0 bandwidth cap. Um, using 1,841 MB, so about uh, almost a 90% uh, VRAM capacity there. And averaging right around 69, 69 to 70 FPS at the moment. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start walking ahead here so we can get a good view of the area. This guy over here pan somebody down. And you can see as I, uh, as I move around, the screen is nice and smooth. Everything's running great for quad SLI. And at the top, still using uh, 1,852 MB. Still around 70 FPS. Now we're going to go into the menu, go into video, and we're going to turn ambient occlusion to SSAO. Apply, and let's see what happened to our VRAM usage. Alright, so right there showing about 1850 MB, so it didn't change much. Still pretty smooth. So we'll go back in and we'll change it to HBO. And let's go ahead and see what happens. All right, so now we're up to uh, over 2,000 MB. So I'm gonna spin around. Oh, look at that FPS drop. Oh, eight, five. Man, that VRAM limit is getting hit there. Oh, now the game is unplayable. Look at that GPU usage as I spin around. Single digits at points. And just to give you a picture of what that looks like as I'm moving around. Oh, you see that stuttering? Game becomes pretty much unplayable when you hit that uh, VRAM limit. As you can see, it's bouncing off the 2048 uh, wall there. As I spin around, there's the FPS drop. And GPU usage Whoa, zero to one percent there. That's just crazy. So you can see when you hit the VRAM limit, especially in BF3, it just crushes it. All right. So that's what happens when you hit a VRAM uh, limit, especially at these ultra high resolutions. And if anybody's interested, I'm going to continue uh, testing. Um, I'm going to reset the cards for PCI Express 3.0. And this is, this is going to be about another 10 to 15 minutes of the video. So if you're not interested in seeing that, you can turn off or fast forward. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this window here. And you can see we're still at PCI Express 2.0. I'm going to close out GPU-Z, CPU-Z, EVGA, going to minimize. And in the NVIDIA control panel, I'm going to disable SLI. And we need to do that in order to apply the PCI Express 3.0 registry fix to each individual card. And you can see here, okay, now I'm back over to just a single screen because SLI is disabled. And I'm going to close this window out. I'm going to rotate this to a uh, portrait so I don't lose my mind. All right, so now we're going to go into RegEdit. And you'll see that uh, my applicable uh, video IDs are already up. So I'm going to go back to the web page that I had up for copying this registry key. If this Google Translate crap will get out of the way. RMP PCI link speed. And that value needs to be changed to 4. So back in the registry. So now. SLI is disabled, I should be able to get to each individual. Okay, here's one of the GTX 480s. New D word. Control V. All right, so I'm gonna switch that to four. That's one down. Next. As I scroll through the different cards, there's another one. New. Oh, see, I just did a... Uh, 
just did a boo boo there. New value, I have to delete that. It's a little bit harder holding the camera and doing this properly. New D word, control V, down here at the bottom. And we're gonna change that to a value of four. All right, next card. Here we go, new D word, control V. Oh, come on now. It's not cooperating. I got my camera left hand. All right, change that to a value of four. And keep going up through the list here. I believe I did three. All right, so here's the last one. New D word, control V, and data value four. All right, so now I'm gonna remain out of uh, surround mode. And of course, this is a registry edit, we have to reboot. So at this point, you can either just fast forward in the video as this computer reboots.